It's been a really strange year and a lot of people are talking about how it's going to be a really strange Christmas and it is, it's going to be different from normal, from how we've celebrated Christmas in the past. But have you ever thought that actually at the heart of this whole Christmas story is an incredibly strange story? A baby in a manger, the Son of God in our world, the Eternal Almighty taking human form. That's a truly strange story. One of the things I would like to try and do this week as I lead you in worship is to narrow down into the true and proper focus of Christmas. To bring the story of Jesus coming right to centre stage. I've probably spent more time at home this year than I have any year since I was a child. And that made me think about celebrating Christmas this year personally and as a leader in the church. I've been reflecting on Jesus. The whole point of Christmas is that he left his home, he left heaven his family, his father, to come to earth. And I've thought if he could do that for me, maybe I should do that for him. I've come here. This is where I'm going to spend the night, surrounded by sheep. And even very own Christmas donkey. Camp bed, animals for company, and an opportunity just to reflect on what it's like to spend a night in a stable. You might think Christmas is strange this year, but Christmas is just incredibly strange. The, the strangest idea to comprehend is that the Almighty would come down into such a place as this. We read these really familiar verses from uh, Micah chapter 5. But you, Bethlehem Ephrathah, though you are small among the clans of Judah, out of you will come for me one who will be ruler over Israel, whose origins are from of old, from ancient times. Therefore Israel will be abandoned until the time when she who is in labour gives birth, and the rest of his brothers return to join the Israelites. He will stand and shepherd the flock in the strength of the Lord, in the majesty of the name of the Lord his God, and they will live securely for then his greatness will reach to the ends of the earth and he will be their peace. Micah the prophet says that the Saviour will come out of Bethlehem, a small insignificant uh, village that nobody hardly knew anything about. And of course the reality, the, the incredible reality, the strange incredible truth is that Jesus came not only out of Bethlehem, but Jesus came out of heaven to Bethlehem. The almighty, eternal Son of God came from heaven down into this place, this village, this backwater place. He came down into this human existence in a stable, surrounded by animals. How and why would he do such a thing? Of course, the driving force behind all of his action is his great love for us. He is the one who will come down into our strange world, down into our strange broken lives. He will come to rescue us. He will be the king who will lead us. He will be the shepherd. Did you pick that up from the reading? He will shepherd his people. This year Christmas is strange. But every year actually we tell this incredibly strange story. Tonight I'm going to try and experience this strange story in a, a whole new way, with new sounds and smells and hopefully insights. I've learned one thing already. Sheep try and eat anything, including 
your sound wire. Something I didn't know before. Maybe there's other things that I'll learn. Other things that maybe you'll learn this year as we celebrate Christmas together. Is it strange to even think that the Almighty God could love you enough to come to a place like this just so that he could save you, rescue you, redeem you? Is it strange to comprehend that such a God has done so much for us? It's a strange, wonderful idea. So let's take just a minute or two to reflect on this strange story that we focus on this week. This strange and wonderful idea that the Almighty became one of us to rescue us and save us. As you reflect, may he draw close and may he capture your heart with his love. In these strange days, in these strange times, would God bless you?